So, so there is a survey process as part of the uh, council's replacement tree program. Um, we all disagree with that survey process because they were put in plain brown envelopes, looked like junk mail, people didn't uh, respond to it. I think there was a really low response rate on this road. Um, but from that low response rate, uh, the majority wanted the trees felled. Um, so that's, that's that tree. That's, I, think it's, I think it was six houses on the street of about 114 voted to fell the, the trees, whereas I think there was two voted not to fell them, so not, not very representative. Um, but anyway, th that, the results were released in November, and so this road has been on red alert for felling since November, and finally, uh, in early, uh, early February, they've come to, to fell the tree. So we've been very active you know, as, as a campaign group, both in the local area and, and citywide. We've been negotiating with the council, we've been doing positive publicity, negative publicity, you've seen the Rustings Road stuff, uh, you know, the, all the embarrassing stuff for the council on that. We have done everything we possibly can to, to speak to the council and to try and save the, the unhealthy, to, to try and save the healthy trees. There are obviously some unhealthy trees, we don't have a question about that. There are obviously some that are genuinely dangerous, we don't have a question about that. There are others doing very, very, very substantial damage, we don't have a question about that. We do have a question about trees like this one, which is fully healthy, and uh, it's doing minimal damage to the road, no damage to the pavement. This tree can be saved, so that's why we're protesting about this, about this one. Councillor Brian Lodge did say that he was going to revise the way in which the City Council have been um, <laughs> tackling yeah. these uh, tr tree disputes. So do you not feel like anything has changed then if you're still out here protesting? They, they have changed, but in a very minimal way. So I'll give you an idea. idea. Prior to the Rustings Road incident, we wouldn't have been notified that this tree was coming down. They might have done a surprise dawn raid like, like Rustings Road. They could have turned up at six in the morning. They could have turned up on a Sunday. The council's new approach is that they'll give us seven days notice. They won't fell on Sundays. They won't start before 7 a.m. So they've adhered to all those, those sorts of things. Great. But actually, on the substantial matter of will the trees be felled, will the healthy trees be felled, they haven't changed. Healthy trees, like this one, are at risk of being felled across the city, not just on this road. That was Paul Selby, a member of the Sheffield Tree Action Group for Never Edge. Whilst there, I caught up with Lucy, a local resident who stood in the protection zone surrounding the tree in order to delay the felling. By the time I had arrived, Lucy had been waiting there for over two hours. Why can we not just do it all properly and go through it at a time which you know means these guys get on with filling up all the holes in my road and all the other roads that they can't do because they're doing whatever they're doing? It feels it's all a little bit scattergun, well, that's not isn't it? I can really comment well, I don't suppose you can. I suppose I've just got an opportunity I mean, ul ul to speak to Ultimately, you. my job today is to allow it, whatever you think are the rights or wrongs of it, or actually whatever I think are the rights or wrongs of it, my job here today is to allow these guys to get a the job. That, that really is the bottom but line. But I suppose I'm also, well, I'm also a, a citizen of this city and so presumably I. I've got some call on you and your time. Is that not the case? Uh, and I'm quite happy to talk to you, but it's not going really, to really change the outcome of today because ultimately I've paid a certain amount of money to ensure that these guys get their work done. That's the role of the police, isn't it? The legal challenge is, is to be taken through the courts and with the council. Your argument isn't with the police, it's with the council. So that argument needs to be taken back to the council and through the courts with the council. But as it stands at the moment, as I understand it, that has been tested in, in the court and the court have come down on the side of the council and said yes. It can but there still it. seems to be illegal activity going on in the sense of which well, trees they are marking and saying we're cutting this that, down anyway, regardless. With respect, that's not something that we can, we can resolve here today, is it? That was Lucy, a local resident opposing the felling of trees, who was told she had five minutes to move if she wanted to avoid being arrested. After the conversation with the police, I asked Lucy what she thought of the process. Um, I think uh, the gentleman I spoke to was obviously maintaining a very particular type of approach with me, but I felt that I am one of many that he's talked to, so they can keep quoting the law and the rule, but I don't think that is you know it's all I have to do this it's my job he was polite he was very approachable but it's not about me it's not about me living here it's about the system and that's always seems to be what it is which is partly why I'm here and in one way I feel quite concerned that there's this all this action going on with the police and in you know 
the powers that be, which makes me more angry in a way, because I feel that we should be working together, but I also feel rather concerned that I don't want to get really involved and jeopardise, you know, my name and my spirit within this community. I don't want to be the bad guy. I think we should all be in it together. We should all be supporting each other. Let's make a plan. Some of the trees might have to go, but they don't all have to go. These are just some of the events that took place at Chipping House Road earlier this morning. As you can see, local residents and tree campaigners had gathered around the tree in an attempt to stop them being felled. A few moments later, Councillor Alison Teal, who represents the Green Party in Netheredge Ward, was arrested, along with six other people. This comes after Amy, who are contracted by Sheffield City Council, arrived on Chipping House Road this morning to fell trees as part of a city-wide road and pavement improvement scheme. In a statement, South Yorkshire Police said, We were called to Chipping House Road by Sheffield City Council at around 9.30am in relation to their tree felling operation. Seven people have been arrested on suspicion of preventing lawful work under 241 of the Trade Union and Relations Act of 1992. Meanwhile, Sheffield Live contacted Sheffield City Council for a comment and the Councillor for Environment at Sheffield City Council, Brian Lodge, said... We understand that the police were called to Chipping House Road this morning following disruption to tree works by a small number of protesters. A number of arrests were made when protesters positioned themselves within the safety barriers, posing a danger to on-site workers and themselves. As a result, all works were stopped immediately. The council is very disappointed that this disruption of lawful highway work is continuing. We have had the programme endorsed by the courts following legal action by the protest group, but the disruption continues to cause unnecessary delay. This delay and disruption is likely to cost the council taxpayers of Sheffield a significant amount of money. Whilst we appreciate that some people have strong views about the city's trees, we must continue with works under the Streets Ahead contract whilst ensuring the safety of site operatives and the general public remain paramount at all times.